$20 million deal. Nobody's trying to take it away from me, but I'm building in a moat. This is Mount Everest on like a Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock. It's like one of the busiest places on earth. You think like, if you and if I go, hey, uh, Joe, Daniel, let's let's like train to go to Mount Everest, and we train, and we get a, you know, it costs whatever quarter million dollars. We get a team together, and we we train for a year, and do high altitude training, and we get a Sherpa, and we book the flight, and get the helicopter, and then we go up, and we're like, you know, we think it's going to be this this. We're we're in the high plains of Utah. Nobody's around us, and we're going to ascend. You know, we're going to ascend Mount Everest, and it's going to be this deeply personal intimate moment not excuse me sorry hey sorry uh, hey do you have any of that soup powder you know we had some of that last time we ran out ah, i think joe has it back there hey you got soup powder hand it up uh, frank wants it like this is mount everest but the reason i'm showing this is for awareness that the most remote places on earth with seven billion people on the planet are jammed up with people trying to get there so there is no such thing as we don't have competition or I have this deal locked up. Like you have to fight for these deals and there, there's somebody who just left that client who wants their money and there's somebody about to come in to that client who wants their money. In fact, it's too complicated to go over here, but I'm working on a deal now that nobody's trying to take away from me. It's a $20 million deal. Nobody's trying to take it away from me, but I'm building in a moat. So at the last minute, when a bunch of people pop up to confuse the CEO with his alternatives, I've got such a competitive moat that he won't be able to take any other alternatives. Those people aren't there, I'm the only one in the deal, but I just know at the last minute, everybody freaks out, starts reaching around, people start popping up, they steal the deal away. I've lived through that four or five times, and now uh, I know the world looks like this, even if it looks like nobody's there.